once it's done loading. And then you'll need to have a bunch of energy around, like usually four or five generators around the factory. As I mentioned before, five metal extractors, although I accidentally built six, five metal extractors, factory, five or so generators, and that'll work. Yeah, basically, um, think of it as generators unlocking units, because that's essentially what's happening. <laughs> every, every unit requires a certain amount of power, and... As you give power, you get more units. Also, they require a certain amount of supply, which generators give as well. So once again, something you need. And bear in mind, metal is your pure construction resource. Energy is purely for firing. That's all it's for. Also, another tip, once you have a good amount of resources, oh. you can hit the repeat button, and then your stuff will stay in the queue. Once again, this is another thing I de detailed in another tutorial for 0k, so... More detail in there. And then and you just another point this... to mention. Uh, you mentioned that energy is only used for firing. It's actually used for powering shields, uh, metal makers, um, building nukes. Oh, yeah. Utility purposes, basically. Because shields actually aren't... We haven't actually seen shields yet, so I'll build one myself. Just to show that off. And then realize they're actually quite expensive. But, yeah. They're there. Also, in case you're wondering about the hockeys here, I believe they are by default not there. You have to hold the space bar to get them. You can just space click and make sure that the unit tab hockeys require meta option is unchecked. And then as soon as you click the factory, you'll have proper hockeys. I don't know why that option is on by default, to be perfectly honest. It's really kind of bizarre. For whatever reason, it is on, but I, I don't know. Anyway, you can turn that off if you want to have your hockeys available. Otherwise, just hit the space bar. Or hold the space bar while doing it. Uh, by default, it should actually just work. Um, oh, in Evo? Okay, because in 0k, yeah. that's not by default. Oh, no. It's definitely by default in Evo. That would drive me nuts. I use hotkeys for everything. <laughs> okay, good. So, <laughs> if I have to click disregard on what I just said, it all works. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, in case you're wondering, I am splitting this video up for YouTube and also on Twitch. And yeah, also, if, like I said, I have guides on stuff. Mostly, it's for 0k, but 90% of what I said for 0k applies to EVO RTS. That's how, com that's how much spring games have in common with each other. Is that there's really not much that I can say that I haven't already said on a YouTube video guide, specifically meant for that purpose. And not to mention, Forb has also made guides, and I imagine Forb, you're going to make more guides, I would guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most so, definitely. yeah, in case you're wondering about the stream... I am going to split this up so that it's more educational, it's more directly, well, not educational as much, but it's more directly there. And by the way, this is the shield that we mentioned before. It is powered entirely by energy, but honestly, that's not a problem right now. I have enough energy that's not going to cause me any bottlenecks. I am, however, supply blocked right now because I don't have enough. I have 25 supply and I have 25 supply worth of units. That's one to keep in mind is that units do cost supply, and most of them cost quite a bit of supply. Snakes are the only unit that costs only one supply. Everything else usually costs at upwards of two. And I believe everything requires as much power as it does supply. So the, hard, the longer it takes to get to a unit, the more supply it takes up individually. So like the assimilator, for example, that takes 10 supply, but that took 10 power to get there. Yeah, so you can... rule of thumb. You can actually pretty much equate power to uh, usefulness, generally. Um, usefulness or power of the unit in general. I realize that's kind of uh, strange to, to hear it like that. But basically, like for example, um, artillery tanks have huge range. Um, and so you can build four or five and just kind of have them stand off and lay waste. You know, but... Uh, 
And so essentially, you know, basically the more weight game stuff is higher power requirement, higher supply requirement, so on and so forth. Hmm. 